Well, hi there, and welcome to Bella's Vistas. I hope you'll stick around to the end to see some of our great photographs. Well, hi there, welcome to Bella's Vistas. You know, I've just been having so much fun with my new OM-1, with the bird detect and starry sky and everything. I wanted to talk to you about it, and then I started thinking, why don't I talk about 50 years of photography with Olympus? I first had my Olympus in 1972, the OM-1 film camera. Did lots and lots of work with that, a lot of black and white photography. Sometimes I was using the zoom lens to uh, give special effects for wedding photography. Then I thought, well, I'll tell you all about my whole start in photography. I kind of started out way back in the day with a little camera that my aunt gave me. It was a bank promotion. She put $10 in the bank for an account for me, and I wound up getting the camera. Came with some film and flash bulbs and everything like that. And uh, I really enjoyed taking pictures. I started developing my own film and making black and white prints and little trays, anything I could find around the house. So I went from that camera, delivered papers for a couple years, and I bought this camera, Super Baldina camera with the Schneider lens. It was a range finder. That was my first range finder. It wasn't my last. So I did a lot of work with that. I even did some paying jobs that I shot with that camera. From there, I moved on to a Miranda F, a single lens reflex camera, and I played around with different zoom lenses. I'm sorry, with telephoto lenses. I didn't have any zoom lenses for the film camera back then. So then from that, I moved on. I thought, well, I'll go back to rangefinder again, and I traded all my Miranda gear in for my... Leica M4, and that's my M4 Leica. It's been with me for a long, long time, a good many years, since the 70s. And then I saw the O, or yeah, I saw the OM1. And it was about the same size as my Leica. It was a lot lighter. The original OM-1 was easier to use than my M4 Leica. It was through the lens metering and uh, single lens reflex camera. I really enjoyed that. Then I got into digital photography. My first little foray was with this Epson little tiny 3 megapixel camera. And uh, I took a lot of pictures with that. But I needed something more professional. and. Olympus came out with a fixed lens camera with a pellicle mirror. I bought that and I even shot aerial photographs with that. Had to use a screw on adapter lenses for it. Um, I sold that camera and uh, I got the E1 and I liked the E1. It was a bit slow for focusing. I shot weddings with that. These are some of the weddings that I photograph with Olympus and some musicians as well. Never had a problem with Olympus. Then I got the E3, and I had the 12 to 60 millimeter on there. I took some great pictures in Antelope Canyon with that camera. Lower Antelope Canyon gave me a real good workout with my E3 and the 12 to 60 millimeter lens performed flawlessly. Then I got the E5, and wow, I just loved the E5. I had the SHQ lenses, and I thought that was just the greatest thing. Then one day, my E5, the shutter broke, and I was distraught. I didn't really believe in the mirrorless thought at all. I thought micro four-thirds and mirrorless was totally the wrong way to go. Obviously, they should just make a more robust E5 with a better sensor and uh, all that, but... Finally, I uh, broke down and I got the OMD EM1 Mark II. And I bought that and I used that camera for two years. I just loved it. I got a lot of great shots with that. Went to the Raptor Center, photographed a lot of owls and everything. And uh, they were fantastic. I got some great shots of the owls. Great time at the Raptor Center. The birds just pose wonderfully for you. Look at this eagle coming across. This is with the OMD EM1 Mark II. If I had the OM-1, I just can imagine it would be better. Look at these. I mean, the camera is just marvelous. These are with the 40 to 150 zoom. Just a wonderful place to visit. Along the mill race. 
Then the OM1 came out with bird detect and starry sky focusing. I thought, wow, this is just what I need. I got to get that. Wow. Look at this. The OM1 just focused right on the bird. Look at the eyes on this fella and those toenails. What a great shot. So I bought it. I paid for it. Three and a half months later, I got the camera. And I'm telling you, I love this camera so much. I had a spare battery that I got in the deal with it, but I broke down. I bought the fancy charger, and uh, I think the charger is just great. Now I've always got a full battery and the two full batteries in the backpack, and, you know, I'll charge them when I have to. But I can have two batteries on charge and be using the other one. What a great time we had in Monument Valley. I just about froze to death taking those pictures. This is with the E5 with a 14 to 35 millimeter lens. Great equipment. There we are in Lower Antelope again and some other shots in various locations. Yosemite Park with the E5. Black and white with the E5 again. Now this shot was with the 14 to 35 millimeter f2 lens. Well now, this is one of my favorite prints from the E5. Shot with the 12 millimeter to 35 millimeter. I was shooting at the 12 millimeter. That lens was an f2 lens. This is shot with the OM1 with the 7 to 14 millimeter set at 7 millimeters. So uh, I could use a longer exposure with this, but it's a slower lens, one stop slower. I'm really struck on this. I think I'm going to have to make a big print of this so we can see what it looks like. Make a big canvas print, stretch it and see. This is shot with the E5 too, I believe. Death Valley. This is with the 150 millimeter F2 lens on the E5. I have to check for sure because I was using the E3 and the E5 for quite a bit. This was in Death Valley. This one is in Newfoundland. So let's just see what we can figure well, I wish my printer worked that fast. <laughs> it takes a little longer than that to make a print this size. The newest printers are faster, but this is what I've got. Look at there, I just love this lighthouse. This is my newest print of the lighthouse. I just finished stretching this one a few minutes ago. This photograph I made many years ago this is with the E5 and a 12 millimeter. This is with the OM1 and a 7 millimeter. It's a 7 to 14 millimeter, 2.8. Wonderful lens. I like both photographs. I really do. So happy with this photograph. Wow. The starry sky photography. Oh, John, John, if you get to see this, thanks so much. You really helped me out, helping me to get shots like this of the whale. I had so much fun fishing with you that time. Now here we go, look at the owl flying through the air. Look at that focus. Now I was lucky, the sun just lit up its eye at just the right second. This is with the OM-1, with animal tracking. Look at that. Wow, I'm so lucky that I got these shots. Delighted, I've been looking for these guys for ages. Starry sky focus and live comp. It's a pinnacle at Harry's Harbor. Great place. You might enjoy watching some of our videos on the East Coast, such as Newfoundland, driving through St. John's, or even the guns of Fort Amherst. Pooch Cove. So looking back over my 50 years with Olympus, I don't regret any one of them. So thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoy some of my photographs.